Hey everybody, I know it has been forever since I posted a tutorial and I'm so sorry. Life has just gotten in the way. But today we are going to be working on what I like to call the eight loop boutique bow. Um, I originally learned how to do this from a picture tutorial uh, on Pinterest that I found. It is originally done by Hip Girl, but I wanted to do a video to make it a little easier because I struggled for like four or five bows trying to figure out how to do it via picture. So this is the bow we are going to do. I am going to work with a different ribbon for this though. I am going to work with this really adorable ribbon that I got at Hair Bow Center. It's just a cookies and milk themed ribbon. Um, this is one and a half inch ribbon. I will be showing you how to work with it with one and a half. Um, and I will do a later video for seven eighths. But the supplies you're going to need are needle and thread, lighter, pair of scissors, and you are going to need 44 inches total of one and a half inch ribbon. Um, the tutorial has you start, you know, has you measure out two inches for each tail. There are two tails and then five inches for each loop. I'm going to show you really quick how I get amazing creases. This is so much easier to do when you have creases in the ribbon. Um, just fold it over. You can see right there that the line is in the center. I just run the lighter over the ribbon a couple of times and then press flat and you get a nice crease. This bow is so much easier when you have creases to work with. I'm going to pause this really quick, do the rest of my creases and then come back. Okay, I'm going to show you guys one more time how to do the crease. I can't focus on that, but there's a line there, I promise. You just fold it over, have the line in the center, run your lighter over where the line is, and then pinch with your fingers. As you can see, there are creases on all of the marks. Um, the tutorial has uh, the picture tutorial has you V cutting uh, slant cutting the ends. Um, I find it looks best for this style of bow. So I start with one end and I'll V cut when we get towards the end. But you're going to start on the right hand side of the ribbon so that when you do it, your bow has the print facing the right way. You take this, your first crease, bring it over and angle so you get that nice loop. This bow is really dependent on some greatly formed loops, so bring it over like that. Come over to the left side, take the second crease, put it on top so you get this. Again, great loops. You need these loops. I cannot stress enough how important this is. Now for the third crease, you are going to bring it up and tuck it between the tail and the back piece. So you are just going to slide it in like that. Take the fourth crease and bring it to the center. And the first half will look like this. Now to do the second layer or the second set of four loops, uh, second set of loops, you take this piece and you're going to tuck this piece behind this piece and that one. So make sure to line up your creases. It will keep your loops even. So we have it like that. And then I keep, keep taking creases to creases and make sure to make, you know, to keep the loops nice and loopy. And 
And when we get to the end, if you notice, I haven't slant cutted. I hold everything really tightly in one hand, bring the piece back, and do my slant cut. And then for that final piece, you take it and put it over. Now this is what it's going to look like. I don't do stitching up the entire way. I don't like stitching. But let me unfold this again really quick just to show you how we go about folding it. So again, you take, for the first loop, you take the right hand side, bring this over, crease to crease, make sure you have a really good loop. And then you go from the left hand side, crease to crease. Again, make sure you have those good loops. I cannot stress enough how important a good loop is to this bow, otherwise it will be flat. For the third crease, you are gonna take it and tuck it behind the spike and the back piece. So you are gonna just slide it in like that. And once you do that first crease, everything is worked off of the longer piece of the longer end of the ribbon. And it is just crease to crease to crease. Um, the Hip Girls has a bunch of letters that are written on the back of the ribbon, and it's just easier if you do creases, in my opinion. Um, now, once you have the first four loops to start making the other four, you take that crease and you tuck it behind this piece and what's on the top. Tuck it in between those. Make sure not to let go of your loops, otherwise you are gonna be starting all over again. And then we keep working from the longest end, doing crease to crease. And for the last two, yeah, the, the second to the last crease, you take it and you tuck it up under that top layer. Make sure you catch it. And then the last one, you bring it up into the center and that slant cut should be hitting the top right loop. Now to secure it, like I said, I don't do the sewing up and down. What I do is I will take my threaded needle with a knot at the end, bring it up in the center of the bow, as you can see, pull it through. And then what I do is I wrap the thread around lay the bow down flat on the table, put a finger on either side of the thread, and just pull. If you use upholstery thread, you can yank like nobody's business and it doesn't snap. And then just wrap it around a few more times to make sure that the center stays cinched in really good. Like I said, you can yank on this pretty good and it won't snap. And then I just come to the back. For me, I tie it off. I just stick the uh, needle under the thread just a little bit. And then I wrap the thread around twice around the needle and then just pull it through. Cut it off in the back, we can get rid of that. Now this is the time that you can fluff up your loops, pull them around so that they are even. When I say even, I mean this one's even with this one. You don't want them going off on odd angles, so. Excuse me. 
And that is it. We have the eight loop boutique bow. Um, I lay this on a towel and then spray it really, really good with stiff and quick. Um, you can use hairspray. I just don't like hairspray. I prefer stiff and quick. But there you go. It is so cute. Um, if you notice, there is no clip attached. You can add it to a French barrette. You can add it to an alligator clip, a double prong clip. You can even attach it to a, um, a ponytail elastic. Uh, I offer a variety of different things. Um, you can even attach this to straight to a headband if you would like. But like I said, I lay it down on a towel, spray it really good with stiff and quick. And then when I'm done, if you can see the bows are pretty, uh, the loops are pretty stiff, but you can rearrange them slightly. It will crumple if you push down on it, but if you stick your finger up, it'll bring it back to life. So that is the tutorial. I'm sorry it seems like I'm rushing through this. I'm just not feeling my best, but I wanted to get this out because a lot of my friends in the bow world do not know how to make these. And it is a really, really, honestly, it's a cute bow. Um, I've used these on presents. They've gone on headbands, like I've said, and various different clips and ponytail elastics. Just an all around really cute bow. And the finished product. Sorry, that was my yardstick hitting my printer. The finished product is about four inches somewhere between three and a half to four inches. I mean, I've got my finger at the four inch mark and as you can see, it's just about there. So all in all, really cute bow. Um, like I said, I call this the eight loop boutique bow and it is a very popular, huge seller for me. Thank you guys for tuning in. If there is a style or a bow or a tutorial that you would like to see that I currently do not have, please feel free to comment below. Um, also, while you're here, click the subscribe button that should be somewhere around here. And then click the bell notification so you do not miss any uploads that I put up. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.